Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to compare the Dior Lip Glow versus the new Universal Lip Balm. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Trish Chen. Use my hashtag CDRHolics if you want to share your post with me. I'll come like a comment on your photo. If you suggest a video down below and I choose your video, I'll give you a shout out. So all you have to do is suggest a video suggestion and also come down your social media or your small business. I'll give either or a shout out. And I do have a TikTok. It's at Trish Chen with two H in the N. And without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So today, I'm comparing the Dior Lip Glow versus the new Universal Lip Balm. And I'm going to talk about pricing, the color, and which one is more worth it. So first, let's talk about the Dior Lip Glow, which came out like first years before this one. This one just came out a few months ago. And so the Lip Glow, let's talk about the price first. This one is $34. And there are a total of 8 shades. So the original one, which is the one that I have, which is like the first color to come out, which is 001 Pink, Sheer Ballet Pink. Uh, I'm going to insert some photos here so you guys can see all the colors. Next one is 004 Coral, Sheer Coral. 006 Berry, Sheer Berry. 007 Raspberry, Sheer B Raspberry. 008 Ultra Pink. 009 Hollow Purple. 011 rose gold and 012 rosewood so let me read the description online so it says that the must-have universal bomb from dior backstage now unveiling two new finishes matte and holographic alongside with the original glow so this is the original glow that i have inspired by the expert techniques of the dior backstage Lip Glow is the first color reviver balm by Dior, combining the comfort of a balm with a natural flush of custom color and the benefits. So for the benefits of the original glow, which is the really light pink one, this one is the iconic finish born backstage and loved by Dior makeup artists for its custom rosy tint effect and subtle shine. And then the matte uh, formula. A tinted balm with a velvety matte finish for a soft blurring effect that enhances lips hydrating and nourishing. It has the same color reviver technology to flush a lips a, a soft pink. Works perfectly as a base with a matte lipstick. And then the other one which is a holographic glow formula. The same comfort and color reviver technology in an iridescent holographic glow finish to enhance the lips. And for the formula it has mango butter which provides hydration for 24 hours and then for application tips it just says to use this lip glow before any lipstick for like a prep kind of kind of like a primer for your lips so before i tell you guys which lip balm i prefer or which one i like more let me tell you guys about the other one which is the new lip balm pricing this one is 38 dollars this one is called rouge dior universal lip balm and this one only has one shade. It's a new one, which is a clear uh, lip balm. And the description says, Rouge Dior presents its first lip balm with a formula concentrated in peony and pomegranate flower extracts for more beautiful lips day after day, composed of 95% ingredients of natural origin and enriched with soothing lip care. Lip care, the Rouge Dior lip balm ensures 24 hours of hydration. Harnessing the power of double floral lip care, it beautifies the lips with a universal shade and leaves them naturally satiny. It can be used alone as a lip balm or under the Rouge Dior lipstick as a primer for added comfort. The new Rouge Dior balm is adorned with a band featuring the CD initials, a nod to the fitted waist of Dior's runway looks. And this is also refillable. And then the benefits, uh, 24 hours of hydration, formula, like I said earlier, uh, floral lip care it has peony and pomegranate flower extracts. And then there's only one shade, which is 000 Dior Natural. And this one is refillable. So what I mean, so actually let me show you guys the packaging first. So it's just the classic black Dior lipstick. It has canage all around. But this one is the new one where it has the CD initial. And you guys, I'm already running low. I love this lip balm a lot. It's just a clear white lip balm. And what I mean by refillable is that once you run out, you can take this out right here. And then you can buy the refill, the free fill ones, which are $30. So $30 for just the refillable stick. And then $38 for like the whole brand new stick with the new initial packaging. 
And also there are lipsticks too that have refillable. So like if you want a red lipstick, you can use this packaging and you can buy it for $30. And you take this out and then put a new one in, which I think is super cool. Like that's what I'm going to do because I don't really need to collect, you know, this that many uh, CD packaging. So I can just spend $30 instead of spending $8 more to get a new lip balm. And then it's refilled so I love the new refillable idea instead of spending eight more dollars unless you really want to get packaging which I think maybe I will I don't know should I spend should I save money or spend eight dollars to get another packaging because it is actually really pretty but it just depends on what you like and I forgot to show you guys the packaging here um, I don't think this is available anymore this was like a limited edition packaging where it has like um, a pink oblique all around the lipstick but it's just a really light pink lip glow so for the lip glow for my opinion now you guys which one I recommend getting is the new lip balm which is the clear lip balm I prefer this one more over the lip glow is because that I like to put my lip balm on at night and I don't want my lips to be looking like kind of pink I don't want to stain my pillow stain my bed sheets so I feel like this would be, would be like an all-around lip balm for like anything you can put it on before your lipstick. Um, I think this one would be better before you put on your lipstick because it already has like a subtle pink tint to it. And it does get more and more pink depending on like your lip temperature. So I do like this one but the white clear one is more of my favorite. And also that... I feel like the lip glow is kind of more of like a thick kind of balm. It's like harder to drag like your on your lips. Like it's not a smooth drag. Well, the this one, the clear lip balm is like really oily. It's really smooth. You can just like glide it on your lips and it just like swipes right away. Super smooth. I love it a lot. Um, I'm ready to buy another one now. I highly, highly recommend getting this. It's so good, you guys. But honestly, it just depends because. The lip glow does come in eight shades, so maybe if you want like a really subtle, like it's kind of like a lip gloss, lip balm in a way. You can choose like different colors. There's a holographic, there's the matte shade, there's this original one, the lip glow. Uh, it's a reviving lip balm. So honestly, it just depends on what you like, but that is my opinion on it. I still love this one way more, like 100%. Use it all the time in the morning, after I wash my face, before I go to sleep. It's like all around use. But yeah, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys, and that is in today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Trish Chen. Use my hashtag CJRholics. Suggest a video down below. Take a look at my TikTok, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!